Midjourney is arguably the best AI art platform out there. And if you want to use it to its full potential, you have to understand styles, why to use them, when to use them, where to find different ideas for styles and how to put it into your prompts so that the Midjourney AI can now put exactly what you are hoping for. We're going to cover that today right now, and we're going to do so in an easy to understand manner, because even though these are artificial intelligence platforms are extremely complicated, advanced, and difficult to program. They're actually quite easy to use and people make it out to be a lot harder than it is. So let's dive in and explore styles on mid journey. Okay, so let's discuss styles. Now, if you do forward slash imagine, you're gonna go ahead and write a description for what you want, and then you can dictate certain things, like the mood, the color. You can even mention some of your favorite artists that live currently or have lived in the past. And Midjourney AI outputs will be inspired by the artistic style that you choose. So this part is the most important part of this video. When you're adding styles, you put at the end of a prompt. So for instance, Elon Musk portrait, you then type comma, and then you put in the keywords of the style. So if you want it to be a certain era, we could say 1920s, we could say gloomy, photorealistic, and we'll get into it later, but we can actually specify our favorite artist or a favorite photographer for this example but what i want you to remember is the comma and then spaces and at the very end that's where you put in your parameters so for instance this would be dash dash and since we want it to be vertical we could do aspect ratio four by three and so here are some of the results you get and as you can see we styled it to the way that we wanted and the mid journey ai bot they went ahead and they produced exactly what I was looking for with this prompt. Now, I want to highlight Mid Library by Andrei Kovalev. I want to highlight this repository because it is so helpful and instrumental to jog your brain when it comes to popular features, a lot of styles, by categories, by names of certain artists, by movements, by techniques, by titles, and by all the genres you can possibly imagine. This is a very extensive resource and what I will do is I will link it in the description. And the cool thing about this is that there are so many categories. For instance, I am a big fan of architecture. And right over here, I recognize Shigeru Ban. And I just put in a prompt for architectural structure on the moon aspect ratio 16 by 9. And I did not mention any style. So let's see what Mid Journey comes up with. And then we're going to go ahead and put some style tags in and see if we can get something that is going to look like a Shigeru Ban architecture on the moon. So this is what Mid Journey came up with, which looks really, really futuristic and kind of amazing. However, I want this exact prompt, but I want to add some styling so that it could be exactly what I'm looking for. So I'll type in forward slash imagine space. I'll put in architectural structure on the moon, and then I'm going to add some styling tags. So we're going to say Shigeru Ban. And then we're also going to add photorealistic. So take a look right here at these results. This is quite fascinating. It went ahead and it actually created it in something that somewhat mimics the style of Shigeru Ban. And by the way, one of the reasons that I love Shigeru Ban's work is because it reminds me of 3D printed jewelry, which I absolutely love. I'm fascinated with 3D printing. I teach a lot of workshops in 3D printing. I'm definitely gonna make more tutorials on this channel about 3D printing, but I digress. If we go back here, I actually wanna show you a really, really helpful tip when it comes to highly detailed images like architectural design. And so what I wanna show you now is if you go to forward slash settings, you will see that we're working with base quality. However, if we go to high quality, we're actually gonna get a bit more detail. And so to showcase that, I'm actually gonna copy this prompt right here. I'll go to forward slash imagine. I'll put in the prompt once more and let's see what happens. 
And by the way, as you can see here, for high quality, you can simply use the parameter dash dash Q and then the number two. That is as high as it goes on version 5.1 of Midjourney AI. Take a look at this. On the highest quality, you can see that we're actually seeing a lot more detail. This looks amazing. And I haven't even gone and upscaled it. So let's try to upscale the first and we'll actually do the second version as well. And let's take a look at how they came out because it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at the detail on this thing. This is so amazing. If this is not inspirational to artists to go ahead and get the creative juices flowing, I don't know what is. This is absolutely brilliant. And I don't know how long we'll be able to utilize a lot of these things, like actual people's work styles. I'm sure that there's a tremendous amount of lawsuits coming. And so we may as well play with this while we can before the laws are set in place and companies like like mid journey and others that are working on this RAI like stable diffusion and others we might as well go ahead and enjoy them to the fullest because the outcomes of these lawsuits is gonna dictate law and that law I feel copyright infringement design patents a lot of that stuff is going to come into play laws will be rewritten and who knows if we're going to have the freedom to use these RAI tools as we are today and so while we're on the style topic in mid journey i want to point out the stylize parameter so what does that mean well mid journey has been trained to produce images that favor artistic color composition and forms especially the ones that you describe in the prompt the dash dash stylize or dash dash s parameter influences how strongly this training is applied low stylization values produce images that closely match the prompt but are less artistic high stylization values create images that are very artistic but less connected to the prompt so this actually really surprised me it says that the default value is 100 even though the range is from 0 to 1000 as you can see here the stylized range in version 5 is 0 to 1000 same for version 4 yet the stylized default is 100 which i guess makes sense because midjourney ai it is more concerned with getting the output grid images more close to your preference to whatever you're putting in the prompt rather than just having it be a mixed bag to go wild to just be a box of chocolates and produce something very artistic but maybe not what you're looking for and that could potentially turn the user away so i've played around with the dash dash s parameter and for most of the prompts that i run i actually leave it at the default 100 because i feel like it's a healthy balance between giving me that artistic flavor something i'm not expecting but also producing something that reflects the prompt that i asked it to produce. So I really hope that you guys learned something today, that you understand the style feature, you understand how to stylize and use the parameter in mid journey. Let me know what other topics you wish for me to cover. I hope that you guys are really enjoying this artificial intelligence AI art journey because these platforms are only going to get better and better. I can't wait until Adobe releases theirs. I'm going to do tutorials on all the photography, all the videography, all of the artificial intelligence platforms that I could get my hands on, that I can study, and that I could bestow some knowledge back to you guys. So with that being said, let me know in the comment section which platform and which aspect of Midjourney AI you wish for me to cover next. I'll see you in the next video.